بسم الله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه ومن والاه uh, إن شاء الله we shall continue from our last lesson where we are explaining the importance of the Sahaba radiyallahu anhum and we began with the al khulafa al rashidun and uh, we stated the witness that the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam made on the 10 sahaba al mubashirun bil jannah that he certified them with al jannah while they were on the surface of the earth living and we said they were not the only sahaba that the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam certified and witnessed in their favor that they would enter al jannah while they were on earth we talked about al hasan wal husain that the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said both of them would be the youth leaders in al jannah now we also said that ahlul qibla we don't single handedly point at someone that ant bil jazm categorically and tell that person that you are going to have jannah or single handedly point at someone and tell that person categorically that you are going to hell fire so this is not uh, the aqida of ahlu sunnati wal jamaa but we can witness or certify someone that okay or we, we can witness and certify that everyone who believes in Allah who is a mu'min we say everyone who does that who believe in Allah will enter al jannah and everyone who does not believe in Allah who is a kafir will enter an nar let me quickly bring this hadith i think uh, this hadith was uh, I should not uh, maybe Abu Musa Al-Ash'ari forgotten the rawi of the hadith from the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam it was report, reported that a man was mentioned in the gathering of, of the of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and another man in that gathering in the city was praising the man that was mentioned was praising him kana yamdahu and the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam told the man who was, who was praising the man that was mentioned in the sitting of the prophet sallam the prophet told him way hak o to you way hak is a is a is a statement that is used for a zaj like to tell someone who is doing something that is not supposed to do to stop or to tell someone who is supposed to do something that is not doing that thing to do that thing so the prophet told the companion way hak laqad qata'ta uno qasahibik you've cut the neck of your friend so qata'ta uno qasahibik it could uh, mean kad ahlatta you have destroyed him why did the prophet sallam said you have destroyed him or you have cut the neck is because he was praising him and this is the lesson we want to take for, from this hadith the prophet then said if there is like if at all you want to praise someone the way you should say it is ahsibuhu kadha wa kadha i think of him so and so ahsibuhu not that you not say it bil jazm like you actually atayqan aw atahaqqaq like you know in reality no because you, you don't know you may know the zahir and the batin is only known to allah so the prophet sallam taught the sahaba in that city that what you will say is ahsibuhu kada wa kada i think of him so 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 wallahu hasibu but allah alone is the one who can judge him who knows him better so this is the teaching of uh the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam to sahaba this is what he taught them and this is what the the creed of ahl sunnah wal jamaa is built upon so we do shahada ala zahir based on what is open to us wala nuzakki ala allah ahada and we will not purify anybody you know allah also says in the quran la tuzakku 
anfusakum wa ahlam wa a'lamu biman ittaqa don't purify yourself only allah knows who is pious so what we are saying here is that we is not that we say uh the person that is praying is a kafir no but we won't say as he's praying as he's observing salah as he's doing good that we see him we will not say it you know certainly that is an inmate of al-jannah so who will say ah, alhamdulillah the way we know him nahsibuhu kada wa kada lakin la nuzakkihi ala allah we will not purify him before allah azza wa jal this is the aqida of ahlu sunnah wal jamaah wal mu'sinu yurja la al-jannah anyone who is doing good we hope that the person is going to enter al-jannah wal musi'u yukhafu alayhi min an-nar we we fear that the person that is not doing good who is doing bad we fear that he is going to enter uh, el fire this is how we have to believe not that we say it categorically as if we know the even if one says it categorically categorically what it means is that you are saying you know the unseen which is best known to allah azza wa jal so we say we hope that someone who is good, doing good we enter al jannah and we fear that someone who is doing bad will enter what and now na'udhu billahi min adhab an so we won't say it categorically and certainly so this is the aqida of ahli sunnati wal jamaa na'am amma al kafir we have to get the difference here the one who is a disbeliever al kafir alladhi mata ala kufrihi that died upon his kufr he died upon his disbelief wa laysa lahu shubha and there is no shubha to him he, he was a kafir he died upon the disbelief fa inna hu yashal alayhi bi annahu kafir we are going to testify that that person is a kafir because he knew what he was doing he knew the truth he died upon falsity he died on, upon disbelief then there is no problem in saying kana kafir mata ala kufrihi no 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 doubt in that So but what we are saying is a muslim okay we won't say categorically and certainly that the person is going to enter al jannah or certainly that, that the person is going to enter al fire now that is uh, about that now i know we, we are still discussing the sahaba and their importance and how they are ranked now afdal as sahaba the best of them just like we've explained so and just like it is mentioned in the aqida in tiqad ahli sunnah lil imamain ar-raziyin that khayr hadhihi al-umma ba'da ba'da nabiyha abu bakr thumma umar thumma uthman thumma ali then in our said wa hum al-khulafa ar-rashidun al-mahdiyun now this khulafa ar-rashidun this four khalifs they are the best of this umma fi al-fadila wa fi al-khilafa fi al-fadila wa fi al-khilafa in terms of their importance and in terms of their khilafa la afdal hadhihi al-umma ba'da nabiyha fi al-fadila abu bakr in terms of importance is abu bakr fi al-khilafa abu bakr okay in terms of the khalif khilafa is the person that uh, the person that was the leader of muslim nation after the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam naam wa افضل هذه الامه بعد نبيها بعد ابو بكر هو ماذا هو من عمر في الخلافه وفي الفضيله in terms of khilafa in terms of being a leader and in terms of the importance he has now وحدث بين العلماء في علي وعثمان لكن اجمع العلماء على ان عثمان افضل هذه الامه بعد ذكر ابي بكر وعمر في الخليفه في الخلافه عفوا في الخلافه لكن اختلفوا في الفضيله so in terms of khilafa the consensus they, they, they agreed consensus of uh, scholars they agreed that عثمان was the person that was expected to be the leader after umar radiyallahu anhu but where 
some have difference of opinion is is in terms of importance is Usman more revered more ranked than Ali radiallahu an this is where there is a uh, a difference of opinion among scholars al imam abu hanifa rahmatullahi alayhi he mentioned in his uh, in his in one of his uh, book fi riwayatin if we look at uh, this book titled shar al tahawiya uh, there is a book written by al imam al tahawi we they, they call the book al aqidatu al tahawiya so the shar al tahawiya this statement is written there that al imam abu hanifa he said al khilaf fi al fadila bayn ali wa uthman he said something about the uh, the difference in terms of importance between Uthman and Ali. And what did he say? What, what did he say? He said, "Taqdimu Ali in ala Uthman. Taqdimu Ali in ala Uthman in terms of fadila. In terms of fadila. Fadila means importance and rank. In terms of the rank, he placed Ali over Uthman. That is Al Imam Abu Hanifa." In terms of rank, he placed Ali over Uthman. But in terms of Khilafa, that's who was the leader after Umar. There was no, there was no doubt. And there is no, no disagreement in that. But where there is disagreement, like I said, is where some scholars go with the ranking of Ali before Uthman. Not in terms of Khilafa, but in terms of Fadila. Are we getting the difference? Now, though Al-Imam Abu Hanifa that we said, he said in terms of fadila, in terms of ranking and reverence, that Ali is more revered than uh, Osman, he later changed his statement. He later changed his statement. And he now went with the opinion of Ahlu Sunnati wal Jama'ah. Fil khilafati wa fil fadila kana Osman afdala min Ali radiyallahu anhu majma'in. So the creed of Ahl Sunnah is that in terms of ranking, in terms of reverence, and in terms of the khilafa, Uthman is more ranked than Ali. That is the creed of Ahl Sunnah wal Jama'ah, as opposed to what we said that Al Imam Abu Hanifa initially said. So he now later changed the statement and went with the opinion of the consensus of Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah. So, in this, we, we have we will learn and we will know that Ahl Sunnah wal Jama'ah they believe that fil Khilafa wa fil Fadila, in terms of Khilafa and Fadila, uh, al Khulafa al Rashidun wal Mahdiyun they are more revered. And fi Tartib, Abu Bakr, thumma Umar, thumma Uthman, thumma Ali. This is the creed of Ahl Sunnati. Well, Jama'ah. So this is what we should know that uh, the, the ranking and the, the arrangement is well done and is well placed. May Allah be, be pleased. May, may Allah be pleased with them all, and may Allah grant them uh, His pleasure. And we that we we are on the surface of the earth, may Allah make us to die as Muslimun, Muwahidun, bihaulihi wa quwwati, inna huwa liyu dhalika wal qadiru alayhi. Now, what about who believes? That in terms of Khilafa, okay, that Ali should be made Khalifa over Osman. You know, we said where there is difference of opinion is not in the Khilafa, but in what? In terms of Fadila, right? In terms of the ranking. Now, who now believes that in that Khilafa, Ali should be placed before Uthman, what is what is the what is the opinion of scholars regarding that person? Qal al Imam Ahmed, al Imam Ahmed, Imam Ahl Sunnah wal Jama'ah, rahmatullahi alayhi. He said, "Man lam yurabbi bi Aliyin, man lam yurabbi bi Aliyin, رضي الله عنه في الخلافة فهو أضل من حمار أهلي." Whoever does not accept the fact that Ali was the fourth Khalif. Like the fourth Khalifa, whoever does not accept that Ali was the fourth Khalifa is more stray, like is more astray than the donkey of his people. Look at the similitude. 
adallu min himari ahli is more astray than the donkey of his people so we must accept fil khilafa that the arrangement the way they are, they, they arrange it is well arranged and lastly that is the the statement of sufyan al-thawri that he said man qaddama aliyan ala abibak whoever places ali over abu bak wa umar and over umar faqad azra bil muhajirin wal ansar in fact indeed he has ridiculed the muhajirun and the, the ansar who places ali over who uh, 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 over abu bak wa umar uthman he has ridiculed all of them because he has what he is saying that all of them that time that they do uh, they do bay for abu bak and uh, uh, umar and uthman they what he's trying to say is that they were daft they didn't know what they were supposed to do a'udhu billahi min zalik so that's what he's trying to tell us whoever places ali over all the other three khalifs so this is the uh, the word of sufyan al-thawri وأخشى ألا ينفعوا مع ذلك عمل. He said, and I fear that all his action, all his deed, uh, is worthless and useless. So, inshallah, we're going to stop here tonight. And uh, what the summary of what we explained tonight is that الخلفاء الراشدون في ترتيبهم in terms of the arrangement. So it is well placed in terms of خلافة. The 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 position they have. Is the position they are supposed to have? They are, they are supposed to be, okay? The position they have, like Abu Bakr the first, Umar the second, uh, Uthman the the third, and Ali the fourth. The position they have, that's the position they are supposed to be. That's the ayatul kudu ahli sunnati wal jamaa. Fil khilafa in terms of khilafa, wa fil fadila as well in terms of fadila. Do If one has a difference of opinion as regards fadila in terms of rank, uh, ranking and reverence, so for this the matter is easier. When we is when it when we are talking about importance, and one gives importance to Ali over Uthman, okay. So this amru, this this issue is more is more simple, is simpler than. When it gives, when the person gives more preference in terms of khilafa, in khilafa there is no difference of opinion, there is no there is no dispute. But in fadila, between Uthman and that is between Uthman and Ali, not between between Abu Bakr and Umar. Are, are we getting that? So this is uh, the belief of Ahlul Sunnah wal Jamaa. We pray Allah Subhanahu wa Taala grant us the perfect understanding. Any question? سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك اشهد ان لا اله الا انت استغفرك واتوب اليك السلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته اللهم رحمتك ارجو فلا تكلني الى نفسي طرفه عين واصلح لي شاني كله لا اله الا انت